90 kilometers from the Serbian capital Belgrade lies the small town of Pozarivac. Most of the 40,000 people who live in this everyday town don't know that Pozarivac is also a prison. Two of the remaining three dancing bears in Serbia are kept here. This rundown yard on the outskirts of Pozarivac is the home of Cassandra. The bear is almost 30 years old and has spent most of her life in chains. As a tourist attraction or as a cruel party gag at weddings, Cassandra has spent years being tortured for people's entertainment. Old and blind, her retirement is spent in misery. Four Paws has been campaigning for almost a year to provide Cassandra and her two fellow dancing bears with a better future. Negotiations with the Serbian authorities are generally positive, but are progressing slowly. While the bureaucracy drags on, Four Paws bear expert Karsten Hertwig and his team regularly evaluate the condition of the bears, record changes in their health and discuss problems with the owners. The owners have all given their permission for Four Paws to take possession of the bears in order to provide the animals with a suitable future in the charity's Dancing Bear Sanctuary in Belitsa, Bulgaria. There is a second Dancing Bear in Podsarevac. The Four Paws team is welcomed with Serbian hospitality. In the course of the conversation, Vlado, one of the keepers of the bear, assures Karsten the bear receives two meals a day. He also admits that he is afraid of the bear and treats him with respect. Saida is healthy and in good condition. The bear is chained up behind the house to protect the children, next to rusting paint tins and other household rubbish. Saida is no longer forced to walk the streets to earn money, However, the dancing bear still performs at weddings. A Serbian tradition claims that bears bring good fortune. And Saida has an unusual skill for a bear. He can finish a beer faster than most. Karsten Hertwig is not impressed. The owner of the bear describes Saida as part of the family. However, keeping the bear healthy uses money the family needs for the children. For this reason, Tsorica is happy to let Four Paws have the bear. She just wants to be sure that Saida will be well looked after in future. This is a promise Four Paws is happy to give. It's getting dark as Four Paws arrives at the location of the third and final dancing bear in Serbia. The bear is chained up in a grim corner of the yard. Botsana is only nine years old and is already blind in one eye. Despite this, she is still a wild animal. Even if she is chained up in a rundown backyard. And the dancing bear problem in Serbia is always hidden away in backyards, a long way away from everyday Serbian society. Next morning, Karsten arrives for yet another meeting with representatives of the Serbian Ministry of the Environment, along with the lawyer Nedelka Sorak. Before the meeting, he explains the urgency. The oldest bear is in really bad condition, and we are worried that she won't survive the winter. Conditions are a little better for the other two bears, but still horrendous. We need to move quickly. Getting politicians to move fast is never an easy task. 
The meeting takes place behind closed doors, but Karsten Hedwig is clearly not satisfied with the result. I'm no less optimistic following the meeting, but also no more optimistic. From the experience of the previous meetings, I had the feeling there would be no clear decision today. They promised they would make a decision by the middle of December. I would like to believe it, but they need to act now, otherwise it will be too late. Four Paws will continue to make every effort to rescue the three remaining dancing bears in Serbia, with the assistance of the current bear owners, Serbian advocates of animal welfare and parts of the Serbian government. Despite the bureaucratic hurdles, the aim is to end the cruelty of the dancing bear existence in Serbia and beyond Serbian borders, to ensure that, in future, no wild animals in Europe are tortured for entertainment.